we take a look at the top 5 wearable gadgets which are innovative and push the boundary of technology. The infamous Minority Report movie, which showcased the jester based interface, has finally become a reality. Well, at least sort of. The device works by utilizing smart fabric, which detects finger movement. And in return, you can connect and type on an imaginary keyboard with most Bluetooth devices including your phone. It does this by detecting your hand position in a three-dimensional space and using an app which tells you which key you're pressing. Now, I do think this device will have a little bit of a learning curve, but it'll definitely complement any VR headset since it does have 3D-dimensional space detection. The tap strap is available in a developer kit, but solving future murders in a transparent GUI is not included. At number 4, the dual skin. It is very thin, bendable circuitry which attaches to your skin and acts as a smart temporary tattoo. And it can also complement to create any kind of fully custom device. So the first type of class turns your tattoo in a trackpad so you can play games or even control your mp3 player. The second type of class can light up and even change with your body temperature. And finally number 3 can transmit data such as NFC tags. The dual skin is definitely a cool innovation, which I'd like to see on the market. And combined with mild sensors, it could be the forefront of wearable technologies. So at this point, you're probably asking, well, what is a real device I can actually buy? Well, one neat device on the market right now is the Dama Sport. It cools your body down so you can exercise or play sports longer and reduce fatigue. The Generation 2 model can last up to 2 hours and comes up with a rechargeable battery and charging system. It already has been tested by the Palm Beach Fire Academy and the results were quite good, with claims that it actually reduced respiration and pulse rate in heated zones. Another cool wristband in development which is not yet on the market is the SenseMe and this one can supposedly measure your stress levels and dictate the quality of sleep you're getting. So the wristband detects changes in your skin conductance and then it sends information via Bluetooth to an app in order to relay the information. Now the company is still trying to fund the product, so in the meantime I'll take note of my stress levels when I beat my head against the wall. At number 2, the Control XC. Lighting conditions can change fast and this product adapts by changing between two different tint levels. It can be controlled manually or set to automatic with custom input settings by the user. It's a very simple device and not surprisingly its fundraiser campaign has been an overwhelming success. Now, it would be cool to see a few more tint levels and different design sunglasses, but other than that, this is a really cool device and it's a good idea with a reasonable price range. It's also ANSI certified, so you can use them as safety glasses in certain workplaces. So another really cool device which I really liked but I was really skeptical of was the Pilot, and basically it's a translation device which can interpret foreign languages into your own language in real time. Now the main problem with this idea is that there's already multi-billion dollar companies working on this exact concept. And for a startup company to defy all natural explanations and create a device which works perfectly is very unlikely. Now I could be wrong and this could be a big step towards universal translation, but we'll just have to wait and see. At number 1, the signal. Now you can really pretend that you are a true secret agent with this smart strap device. It replaces your existing watch strap and transforms it into an workable phone. And now the strange thing is is that the device creates vibrations which travel all the way up to your fingertip and eventually creates amplified sound. So yeah, your fingers pretty much turned into a transmitting speaker with no alleged side effects. Now you still need a phone which has Bluetooth connectivity so you can actually make the device work. And there are already working prototypes and it's likely the real deal. And for being simple yet innovative, it's definitely one of the coolest wearable technologies out there. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video and subscribe to my channel.